From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, you may not have noticed it, but yesterday I told you a storm was coming in last night to bring a little snow, and it did, but it didn't leave very much, if any, snow on the ground. A few little places had a light dusting, almost like powdered sugar on the ground, and now it's pulled out. You can see some clearing off to the east as the sun starts to lighten up the horizon. 31 degrees right now, so while roads are generally dry or just damp, there may be a slick spot or two here or there as temperatures are at or below freezing. 31 right now with west winds at 7 miles per hour at the Boise Airport. And looking at Storm Tracker, we see most of the snow has pushed well south of our area down to the Nevada border and ended across the Magic Valley, the Treasure Valley, and most other locations, although a few scattered light snow showers are still persisting in some of the mountain areas coming out of eastern Oregon, so a few of those light showers or flurries are still possible and along the foothills as well, but that'll end very quickly here in the next hour or two. It's ended in the Magic Valley for the most part, but southward into Nevada, into Utah, eastward into Pocatello. We're seeing some scattered snow showers still going on right now. Upstream from us, drier for the rest of the day. And behind this front, we'll see the winds picking up a little bit. And rather breezy, especially from Mountain Home over into the Magic Valley, where gusts may get up to 35 or 40 miles per hour. The rest of us seeing a 15 to 20 mile an hour wind through the afternoon. Future cast showing dry conditions the rest of the day and tonight. The clouds increase tomorrow morning, leading to a chance of some snow increasing by Saturday afternoon and into Saturday night. Again on Sunday, another round of some snow showers coming through. One to possibly two inches in some valley areas, while mountain locations will see two to six inches of snow through Sunday night and early Monday. And then next week, generally dry, but this cool and unstable pattern will continue on through next week. So for the Magic Valley today, gradually clearing, fair to partly cloudy skies by afternoon and temperatures in the low 30s in the eastern part of the valley, mid 30s in the western part of the valley, 37 degrees in Twin Falls, but those winds around 15 to 30 miles per hour or more. Sun Valley, 27 degrees today with mostly sunny skies. A few isolated snow showers lingering in Stanley this morning, 24, and in the mid to upper 20s in Haley and Fairfield. And a few of those snow showers also around McCall, Donnelly, and Cascade for a while this morning. Council might see a few this morning for a while, and then partly cloudy by afternoon, 41 with a chance of snow showers in Riggins. And for the Treasure Valley, mid-40s today with mostly sunny skies developing and breezy northwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Boise around 41 today, up in Idaho City about 36 with a few morning snow showers still up there, 39 in Mountain Home as it clears up. And then tonight and tomorrow, Dry and cold, 26 degrees in the morning, increasing clouds and snow showers by afternoon through Saturday night and into Sunday with temperatures staying in the low 40s during the day, one possibly up to two inches of snow. And then Monday drying out, but look for cool conditions. Low 40s every day next week. We should be up around the low 50s by now. But instead, we're going to be seeing temperatures staying about 10 degrees below average as this cool and unsettled pattern is expected to last right on until the official arrival of spring in a couple oh, of weeks. Goodness. All right. Well, we need the water. So. More snow for the mountains, though. Yeah, it's Always good. good. It's good. It's good.